You're not in good shape today. What's happening? Do you know what's attacking you? Let's find out on us. What pathogen attacking you? Is the pathogen a bacteria or a virus? Knowing the difference could prevent further damage. Let's find out what the similarities and differences are between a bacteria and a virus. First, both viruses and bacteria can cause diseases. Both bacteria and viruses are germs. As such, they are very tiny microbes, organisms, agents capable of causing diseases in human beings. Both can be spread through coughing, sneezing, or coming into contact with contaminated surfaces, animals, items, or people. Both can enter the body when you touch your mouth, nose, or eyes with your contaminated hands. Let's see the difference between bacteria and a virus. A bacteria do not need a host organism for reproduction, while viruses replicate only inside the host. Bacteria considered as living organisms, while viruses not considered as living organisms. Bacteria larger and visible under light microscope, while virus smaller and visible under the electron microscope. A bacteria is unicellular, while a virus don't have cells. A bacteria can be either beneficial or harmful, while a virus usually harmful. Bacteria cause localized infections, while a virus cause systemic infection. A single circular chromosome is present in a bacteria, while the DNA RNA strand is present in a virus. A bacteria contains a glycan lipopolysaccharide cell wall, while a virus contains a protein coat instead of a cell wall. Infections can be prevented by antibiotics in bacteria, while a virus spread can be prevented by vaccines. Food poisoning, gastritis, ulcers, meningitis, pneumonia, and many more are caused by a bacteria while AIDS, common cold, influenza, chicken pox, and many more are caused by a virus. Measures to take Always keep your hands clean. Follow tips and techniques for washing hands. First, use water and soap. Second, concentrate by washing on palm to palm. Third, washing in between fingers. Fourth, Focus on the thumb and teeth, back of hands and six, focus on the wrist. Follow tips for coughing and sneezing without contaminating. First, cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Second, put your used tissue in a rubbish bin. Third, if you don't have a tissue, cough or sneeze into your upper sleeve or elbow, not your hands. Fourth, wash your hands with soap and running water. Dry your hands thoroughly with a disposable paper towel. Avoid touching your nose, eyes, and mouth with unwashed hands. The nose, eyes, and mouth are entry sites for viruses and bacteria. Avoid contact with people that are sick as they may be contagious. Do not touch objects they have used like utensils, for instance. Bye! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.